Cyanuric acid helps the chlorine to work more effectively in your pool. But if your cyanuric acid levels get too high or too low, you could end up weakening your chlorine and causing everything from algae to cloudy water. So don't worry, here are a few simple steps that you can take to keep your cyanuric acid levels balanced in your pool. Check it out. First, what is cyanuric acid? Well, cyanuric acid is also known as CYA, pool conditioner, or pool stabilizer, and it comes in both liquid and granular form. You can even get it pre-mixed in with chlorine tablets or sticks. These products are called stabilized chlorine. Cyanuric acid allows your pool water molecules to hold on to the chlorine, specifically free chlorine. Now, free chlorine is the amount of sanitizer that's available to clean your pool water. The other good thing about cyanuric acid is that it has little effect on alkalinity, pH, and calcium hardness levels. Its one job is affecting chlorine. So, how does cyanuric acid help stabilize chlorine? Well, when you add chlorine to your pool water, it transforms into sodium hypochlorite ions. And when UV rays from the sun hit those ions, they break apart and the chlorine evaporates, leaving very little free chlorine in your pool water. Now, cyanuric acid binds to those ions and prevents them from breaking apart when exposed to UV rays. Now, if your cyanuric acid levels are too low, your pool won't hold on to the chlorine. If your cyanuric acid levels are too high, your water will become saturated and it won't hold on to more chlorine. The right balance between cyanuric acid and free chlorine levels will help you get the most out of your sanitizer. What are the right cyanuric acid levels? Well, we recommend keeping your cyanuric acid levels between 30 and 50 parts per million. If your cyanuric acid level is over 50 parts per million, it can inhibit your chlorine. You may notice algae growth, difficulty maintaining balanced chemistry, cloudy pool water, and decreased sanitizing. Now, if your levels climb above 100 parts per million, you may not be able to even read that exact amount on a test strip. You'll want to take that sample into your local pool supply store for more accurate testing. Now, if your cyanuric acid is low, between 0 and 30 parts per million, you'll need to add some to your pool. You'll also want to know your free chlorine levels. Your free chlorine should be between 1 and 3 parts per million. When using cyanuric acid, aim to keep your chlorine levels at about 7.5% of cyanuric acid levels. That means if your pool has 50 parts per million of cyanuric acid, you'll need to keep free chlorine at 3 parts per million to effectively sanitize your water and prevent issues like algae. Okay, so when should you test your cyanuric acid levels? Well, besides regularly testing your pool water, you'll want to test your water at the beginning and the end of pool season. If your cyanuric acid is low at the beginning of the season, you'll end up using more chlorine in the months ahead. And if it's high at the end of the season, it might be time to change your pool water. Secondly, test your pool water right after a major rainstorm. Diluted water can also result in lower cyanuric acid levels. And finally, if you notice a strong chlorine smell in your pool, that can be a sign that there's actually too much cyanuric acid affecting your chlorine. So check your chlorine and your cyanuric acid levels. Real quick before we continue, if you're looking for an easy to follow tutorial that'll answer all your pool questions, go check out our pool care handbook and video course. You'll get over 30 in-depth video lessons and a step-by-step -step downloadable guide covering everything you need to know about pool maintenance. It's packed with money-saving tips so you can save money and time keeping your swimming pool clean. This is the ultimate manual for every type of pool, including in-ground, above-ground, and in-tex blow-up pools. And the best part is we always keep it up to date, so once you buy it, you have access to the latest and greatest version for life. So because you're watching this video, you can go to swimuniversity.com slash pool and use the promo code video. Okay, so here's how to lower the cyanuric acid levels in your pool. If your cyanuric acid levels are too high, check to see if you're using stabilized chlorine. Remember, stabilized chlorine already contains a small amount of cyanuric acid. And if you see the following chemicals listed on your label, your chlorine contains cyanuric acid. If this is the case, you may want to switch to chlorine without the added CYA to prevent your levels from rising again. Unfortunately, diluting your pool water is the only way to lower high cyanuric acid levels. So drain a little water from your pool to bring down the water level and then top off your pool with fresh water. Now, if the levels are extremely high, 
you may want to completely drain your pool and refill it with fresh water. This is rare. And stabilized chlorine with CYA can hang around in your filtration system, so you may want to backwash or change your filter. Cyanuric acid has also been found in pool plaster and in calcium scale. So if your levels climb rapidly after you refill your pool, that lingering CYA could be the problem. Next, here's how to raise cyanuric acid levels in your pool. Now to increase cyanuric acid in your pool, you just simply need to add it. Remember, CYA is an acid. It can damage your filter and pool, especially if you have a vinyl liner. Always read the manufacturer's instructions before using it, but here's the way that we recommend adding it to your pool. You're gonna need cyanuric acid, a five gallon bucket, safety goggles and acid resistant gloves, and warm water. First, you wanna fill the bucket at least halfway with warm water. Put on your gloves and your goggles and add a dose of cyanuric acid to the bucket. Check the product instructions for your pool size. As a general rule, for a 10,000 gallon pool, you're gonna need to add 13 ounces of cyanuric acid to increase your CYA by 10 parts per million. Pour the contents of the bucket directly into your skimmer and then run your pump for at least a few hours to stir in the solution to your pool. And that's it. That's everything that you need to know about balancing cyanuric acid levels in your pool. Sorry for saying cyanuric acid so many times. If there's a pool care topic you'd like us to cover in a future video, please leave a comment to let us know. And hit the like button below if you found this video helpful. If you want to learn more about pool maintenance and troubleshooting, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And check out the pool care handbook and video course at swimuniversity.com pool. Don't forget to enter the promo code video to get 10% off. That's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.